praying watercolors about six dollars and 94 cents on Amazon that's about 43 cents a pan not too shabby let's see what we can do with them First of all, can I just say how excited I am about this brush that came with it? It's not the stupid plastic black bristled <laughs> brushes that usually come with kids' watercolors. So I'm very excited that this appears to be some sort of synthetic Taclon brush. We'll see how it works, but I have a feeling it's going to work a lot better than what usually comes with these small childhood watercolor sets. Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Arts at Play, and today I am doing another cheap art supplies video, this time with the Prang watercolors. So the reason why I went with Prang is because I know a lot of people usually go for the Crayola and things like that, so I wanted to kind of find a company that I don't see a ton of other artists talking about. I know that a few people have reviewed it in the past, but I think that this is actually not a bad company as far as, like, children's art supplies go. I know I had some of their colored pencils when I was a kid and I actually liked them better than the Crayola ones, so I thought that it would be fun to try their watercolors as well. And I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time, like over a year now, and it just has taken forever to get it off the ground, so I am finally doing that. And you know me, I like to jump in and just do a project. Initially, I had planned to do something realistic, but once I saw how vibrant these were, I decided to kind of go with a surrealistic or just a really colorful kind of landscape because I wanted to be able to use all the colors. So a little bit more about these paints. The one reason why I wanted to do this is because I wanted to see if there was a good watercolor paint that people could use if they don't have a whole lot of money. Because I know it's not necessarily easy, especially when starting out, to go out and buy the most expensive high-end supplies. And I wanted to see if I could find a good alternative to some of the more expensive watercolors out there for beginners and actually come up with a good piece with it. I got these for $6.94 on Amazon. However, I was looking at Blick to find more information because Blick is really good about having, you know, like a lot of information about their supplies that they're selling. And I saw that they're only $5.92. And this is for the 16 pack. These are semi moist pans which is why they look kind of glossy and they're a little bit sticky to the touch. If you are going for a cheap watercolor set, please always look for the semi-moist pans, whether it be Crayola or this company or a different company. You don't want the chalky pans because your artwork will look chalky after. The semi-moist pans are a little bit sticky looking, they're shiny looking, and they just tend to be a little bit more luminant and more transparent, which is a great thing to look for in watercolors and they are quite vibrant. So I saw that they're actually cheaper on Blick than what I bought them for and I also got the color list. So my set has red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black, which is their standard set of eight. And then on top of that, it also has red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green, blue, green, turquoise, blue, violet, red, violet, and white. And of course, the white is going to be a little bit more opaque. It's kind of like a gouache pan. And you'll see me use that a little bit later on, but I don't use it a whole lot because I'm not a huge fan of the way a lot of white watercolors look. So I don't use white watercolors a whole lot. If I do end up using some type of white with my watercolors, I usually just go straight for an actual gouache because I find them to be a little bit more opaque than the watercolor ones or the ones that come with watercolors, I should say. <clears throat> so as you see here, I am just going in and I'm going like through and creating some clouds and I'm using paper towel to lift. For this, I only used the brush that came with the set and a little bit more about the set. As you saw in the beginning, it comes in a plastic case. It's actually pretty sturdy and the pans are removable and they're about a standard size pan that you would get in any kind of children's watercolor and maybe a little bit thicker but they're not you know they're not too big not too small I think it's a pretty good amount of paint and I actually saw that 
on Blick, you can buy replacements for these pans. If you are a teacher, for instance, you usually have to buy them in bulk. But I thought that was pretty interesting for something that was student grade as well. And I think that, I mean, I'm sure that there are places where you can do that with Crayola if that's what you're buying for students. But I think that that's a great option if you are a teacher and you're having to buy supplies for your students. And so I ended up trying to use as many of these colors as possible because I'm not a swatcher and I probably should have swatched them first because the pans always look a little bit darker in the pan form than they end up coming out. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell if I'm dipping into a dark blue or a dark purple. So that's one thing to be aware of. That's quite common. It can even be common in art supplies that are made for professional artists as well. That's something that happens quite a bit in watercolor. It's just something that you need to be aware of. So I'm not a swatcher. I'm kind of a play it by ear girl when it comes to things like this, which kind of bites me in the butt sometimes, but it ends up working out in the end because sometimes I happen upon some happy accidents. So I am using a reference photo initially just for this, the um, cloud formations. I have been working a lot on cloud paintings, which is why you haven't really seen me a whole lot in the past couple weeks. I'm working on a big project, a series. This isn't technically part of it, but um, a lot of that series I'm doing in a class and I'm not able to really film. So that's why I haven't been filming as much. So I apologize that I haven't been as active on YouTube lately. But I decided to add trees to it because my initial reference was just of clouds. And I thought it would be fun to add some really colorful trees to kind of show the sunset -y feeling of the clouds. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I ended up realizing that I hadn't used some of the greens, so I'm going to dip those in the trees as well. And I just really wanted to be playful and have fun with this. A lot of the techniques that I used here was I tested to see if I could lift. I did layering. I wet the paper first and then went in to see how it blooms. And it actually blooms really well. I'm not sure if these are pigment-based or dye-based. I didn't see that information online. They might be dye-based because they're very, very vibrant. So if you do end up getting these, you may not want to sell the original pieces because there is no pigment information on the packaging. Therefore, there is also no light fast information on them. So I don't know if they will fade or not. However, it is something that would be really great to use for prints. I actually am going to upload this on my print site. And if that's something that you're interested in, I always link my print site in the description below. I have a place where I list my social media. My print site is down there if you're interested in seeing some of my work. But I was actually really pleased with these watercolors. I wasn't sure what to expect for something so cheap. It, they are made for children, so you just never know. And it's been years since I've used anything from this company. And this, I should mention, this video was not sponsored in any way at all whatsoever. This is simply a fun video that I wanted to do to see if I could find some good watercolors to suggest to people who don't have a whole lot of money for watercolors. And I'm actually pretty pleased with these. I think that this would be a good choice. If you want to learn how to use watercolors and you've never touched them before, but you really, really don't want to pay the prices that you have to pay for professional watercolors, I would pick these up if I were you. I'm sure you can get them at multiple places. As I said, you can obviously get them on Amazon and Blick, but some places might have them in Walmart or I guess it depends on what area you live in. And if not, then pick up some Crayola. Don't let prices stop you from trying something new. And then if you really love them, then you can start investing in some more expensive watercolors. But I think that for the money, these are great. I was really excited with how vibrant that blue is and how vibrant the purples were. In the clouds, I purposely did a lot of lifting because I wanted to keep it soft. I didn't want it to be too saturated, but I wanted to have some light like a sunset. And I think that that ended up coming out really well here. It doesn't look as great filming. I had to film in my living room this time because my studio is just completely covered with stuff from my other projects. So I didn't really have room. So the lighting isn't great, but you'll see at the end, I'll post the scan. And I'm also going in with that white and putting some branches in, as you can see. And this is how the final piece came out. I'm actually really happy with the way this came out. I think I would have been able to get more layers in if I wanted to, to make it a little bit more vibrant. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with these paints. 
But anyways, I do have an announcement. Within the next couple weeks, I will be announcing a giveaway. So please keep your eyes on my channel. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you can because I have a really, really fun and exciting giveaway for you guys coming up once I get it all together. So please keep your eyes open for that. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of my artwork, I'm on social media. So check out the links in the description below.